Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we're playing Granada here in the Open Rosales 4. We just started a war with Punjab at the end of the last video, and we also got an alliance with the Ottomans, who are, for whatever reason, friendly once again. Uh, we have a marriage, now we have our alliance back. I'm okay with this. I would really prefer if they would break this alliance they have with the Timurids, but that doesn't seem very likely at the moment. But they have joined me in my war against Punjab. And now that they're in a war with me, that means we can uh, declare war on the Timurids and Ottomans can't defend them. That's just fantastic. Now we do have a free diplomat. What do we want to do with the diplomat? Hmm. <laughs> Crimea. I should see if I can get a CB on Crimea, because the Ottomans would probably be happy to fight Crimea. Do you have a marriage with Crimea? Nope. Yeah, if we can get the Ottomans to fight Crimea, then that would also mean the Ottomans would fight the Timurids. I think that's a good possibility. I would love that. Uh, can I get a CV? Do you guys want a loan? Oh, yes. Oh, they do want a loan. All right, now we're talking. How much ducats do you want? 50 ducats. You got it. All right, a loan to Crimea. Nice. And uh, why don't we get a couple sieging armies, since we have money for mercs. Four should be fine. Are they all level twos? Yeah, they're all level twos. Okay, yeah, four mercs is fine. Let's group up. And we'll have a little party. All right, so Crimea has a loan. Now we have to see if we can get the uh, Ottomans to join us in a war. Oh, shit. There are no level 1 advisors available. There's only a level 2 and two level 3s. For fuck's sake. Fine, give me the level 2. Free diplomat. Um, you know what? Get Bengal back up. We're going to have to go to war with them at some point, but might as well have them like us. Same thing with Dali. Might as well have them like us. Oh, right. Uh, Chagtai is the Ottoman's bitch, so Chagtai is going to kill that stack for me. Okay. That works. Yeah, it looks like I don't even have to do anything. Chagtai is going to do it for me. We'll go kill his stack. That'll be our level of involvement. <laughs> Nice. So he's dead. Stack is dead. Uh, actually, why don't we head to Lower Dobe? Get out of there. There we go. Rajanagar will... Yeah, he took Sri Lanka. God... Damn it, Portugal, he took Sri Lanka. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Alright, um, Ottomans are good. You know what, actually, let's get relations up with the Timurids. I mean, I plan on attacking him, but uh, might as well be friendly about it, right? 
Why not? Oh, and the Ottomans are improving relations with us. That's what I like to see, baby. That is what I like to see. And the Timurids are kicking the shit out of Karakoyim. I mean, there is just not much Timurids left. Come on, Crimea, break the loan. So the Ottomans can kick your teeth in. Break the loan, Crimea. I know you want to. Oh, and Malabar is about to annex. They'll finish um, in August. Cool. Oman is getting carpet sieged by the Timurids. That's normal. Come on, Crimea. Break the loan. Break it. Okay, we had the capital fall. Move on. Oh, the Timurids are no longer embargoing us for some reason. Well, whatever. God, that stupid level 2 advisor is so expensive. Oh, I wish it was level 1, but he'll die soon. He's 45. Alright, goodbye, uh, Malabar. Thanks for helping me. There goes legitimacy down to 45. Bye, Malabar. And he gave me four heavy ships and two transports. I think I'm just going to delete them. Don't really need that crap. Excellent. Unfortunately, it's all the wrong religion, but whatever. Okay, so we're down to four out of six relationships. That means I should release Orissa soon. And uh, we can feed them that one province from Bengal. And uh, let's see what peace deals are going to be available through Punjab. There might be something interesting, maybe. Karakoyni wants an alliance? No. Get out of here. All right, what's available? We're at 94%. Are you small enough to vassalize? No, he's worth 108. Of course. Of course he's worth 108. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. 108. Really? Crimea, have you broken that loan yet? Nope. Why don't you break that loan, Crimea? We no longer accept Avadi culture. Fuck me. Look at the accepted cultures map. Nothing. Just Marathi. Wow. We own all the Avadi provinces and they're not accepted. We own all the Tamil provinces and they're not accepted. They're all probably about 15% or less. They're just not accepted. 15% of our economy, I mean. So let's see what we can do to Punjab in this peace deal. Probably just make him... Oh, actually, I guess we can take some land. Uh, we can take both of these, or just one of them, and then go to war next time and vassalize him. Yeah, that's an idea. We'll just take one province. That one's probably too much. Oh no, a revolt. Oh, thank goodness we had 19,000 guys chilling there. Oh, canceled loan on Crimea. Now we're talking. We have one year of canceled loan. Am I right? No, 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 no. My nation. Uh, my nation. Yeah, September next year. Yeah, one year of canceled loan. Okay, good. If we finish the siege, that'd be nice. Like today. There. 
All right, let's see if we take that. Will that drop him under 100% war score? Yes. Okay, good. So we'll do that, and then next time we go to war, we can vassalize him and just sell that province back to him. Done. Give me your money, too. Oh, I wish I could take the vassal. <laughs> Give me your money. Okay. Uh, kill the mercs. Do we need the soldiers, maybe? I guess they don't hurt that much. But, nah, get rid of them. Save our cash. And let's release Orissa. Wow, where the fuck is Orissa? There we go. So we don't have to stand our troops there anymore. Um... Just go there is fine. And we can go to war with Bengal to give Orissa one more province. And Punjab, we should be get, we should get relations back up with him. But uh, we're just going to go to war with him next time to vassalize him. But now, now that we're at peace, let's see if the Ottomans want to uh, join my war against Crimea. That would be great. Let's go ahead and marry Orissa. Oh, the Ottomans broke their alliance with the Timurids. Now we're talking. Now we are fucking talking. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah. If that will ever go away. If, um... Oh, man. The Ottomans have access to the Timurids right now. Well, let's see if they'll join my war against Crimea then. Because that'll do. That will do. Actually, don't bother with that one. Do this one. Oh, 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 why would the... Oh, the Ottomans broke their alliance with the Timurids. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. Let's see if you'll join... Oh, you can't because of the, the military access. Yeah. What about Crimea? No, he won't. Okay, we have to wait for the right opportunity for Crimea. I guess the Ottomans are going to have to take his troops home. Because he won't join me against the Timurids because they have military access. But he will join me at some point, right? That's the thing. At some point. And that's that's going to be good enough, I think. Portugal has some revolt risk, but it's not that bad. I wonder if we can... Oh, Portugal has rivaled me. Really? Can I support some rebels in here? Two ducats a month for revolt? Sure. How are we doing on the trade note, anyway? Uh, we're pushing 12 ducats forward, and we're collecting 12 ducats here. Eh, we could do better. could certainly do better. Why don't we sit some guys on this province? We're going to fit 19. Here, split in half. And put some right there, just so we don't get a revolt. Bengal, let's see. Atse and Delhi. Probably just declare war on Delhi, but Bengal might become the war leader, and that might bring Atse in. Uh, I think I'm more worried about the Timurids right now. I really want to make that happen. France peacefully vassalized Dauphine. Okay. Oh, the Timurids have a regency. Ah, ah. Yep. Instant change of dynasty. So he's now the Borgian dynasty, because you can't have regencies. Or at least you're not supposed to, as a horde. Alright, the Ottomans are just moving troops home. There you go. Karkhanu will cede Mazandaran and Jilan to the Timurids. Okay. Who's going to be free soon? Ah, you're going to be free soon. Come back. Okay, yeah, just that one. 
Let's see if the Timurids will do this now. Come on. I mean, let's see if the Ottomans will join us now. Come on, Ottomans. You're at peace, right? Ah, they won't. They won't. Come on, Ottomans, I need you. I need your help. Oh. Muscovy considers us a competing great power. Dude, I'm 26th in the world. You're probably like third. I don't think I'm a competing great power. Hmm. France declared war on Provence. Okay. That's cute. Converted something. Good, good. We don't have tons and tons of time on this. So I really need the Ottomans to join me in this war, dude. Oh, that'd be so nice. Once they get out of Timbers lands, they may cancel their military access. But it looks like they're keeping 0 0.9 troops down here, which means they can't cancel their military access. How stupid is that? Yeah, they still have it. Damn it. Damn it. That's the Timurids' only ally. Stupid Ottomans are not leaving the Timurids' lands, so they'll never get rid of that. Because of this one soldier in Hormuz, who is not going home, they will never get rid of their military access here. Oh, that's so dumb. Well, we might just have to declare war. I mean, we outnumber his soldiers by 25,000. I'm pretty sure we could win this war, especially with our vassals. But the Crimea would probably join in somehow. I don't know, he kind of hates Georgia, so Georgia probably would never give him access. So maybe he can't even get here, I don't know. Hmm. Come on, Ottomans. You've been at peace for long enough. It's time for another war. Portugal is embargoing me. Lulz. Alright, this is the last month. Our CV is going to go away soon. And the Ottomans still won't join. God damn it, Ottomans. And this one soldier is preventing him <laughs> from from getting rid of his military access. That one soldier in Hormuz just won't go away. Well, I think we have to go for this war. I can't just wait. So, yeah. Let's declare war on Crimea. I don't really care about the Golden Horde and no guy, but I do care about the Timurids. So let's watch. Let's see if we can get the Ottomans to join our war. Okay, there's the Golden Horde joining and the Timurids joining. Okay. Can you join my war? No, why not? He likes my enemies. That's a problem. He likes my enemies. Yeah, look at that. He loves Crimea. So even though they're not allies, he likes Crimea quite a bit. And they don't share a border, so there's no hostility between them. Oh well. 
We'll do what we can, I guess. Let's, um... I think we're going to have to kick that level 2 advisor. He's just too expensive. And let's get some mercenaries. And... Let me turn on... The, okay, the checkbox is on. Let's go to the mountains with the checkbox. Uh, same thing here. Let's go to the mountains with the checkbox. Good. Uh, 10 guys go to the mountains with the checkbox. 20 guys split in half go to the mountains with the checkbox. And yeah. Let's see if we can get our vassals to stand on our faces with the checkbox. And that should be all of our troops. Yeah. Okay, war with the Timurids. Here we go. This is our war. Let me slow down time to speed three. So this is going to be our first chance to get some land for our vassal Afghanistan. Here comes 22 motherfuckers with uh, a 444 general. Jesus Christ. Uh, give me another general. A, a 121. All right, well, that's sort of like a 444. Timurids get a 444. I get a 121. Yeah. Same thing. Let's do a little preemptive invasion. Just start sieging stuff. And, well, I would top off relations with the auto derps, but I think we're okay. Uh, did we top off Punjab? No. Go top off Punjab. We want them to like us when we vassalize them in the next war. Oh, and nobody is coming? Really? My vassals are not coming to stand with me in the mountains. Well, that's kind of a problem. Here, I'll come to stand in the mountains then. Oh, well, there you go, Vassal. Instead of standing with me, you got attacked all alone out there, and I can't really help you because there's no mountains there. I need mountains, you know? Can you dig it? Yeah, Ottomans are too... Ha oh, God, look at this. They have this giant force coming. 30, they have 50 guys that are on their way down here. That's like their entire military, isn't it? All right, well, we have some mercs sieging up. That's fine. You guys, mercs gonna merc, right? Can I get a guy for, like, morale or something? Discipline? No, he's a level 3. Fuck it. I can't afford a level 3 discipline guy. I can get rid of my statesman. Hopefully my vassal will come towards me. It looks like he's trying to come towards me. Oh. And we're still trying to support rebels down here, but they're just not spawning, are they? There's 8.7 revolt risk, but it's just not spawning. He has a ton of tolerance. He has an advisor for lowered revolt risk. He's a lucky nation, which lowers revolt risk. He's got 100% legitimacy, which lowers revolt risk. He has plus two stability, lowers revolt risk. Uh, AI bonuses are turned on, so he has even lowered revolt risk. 
Yeah. There you go. Yeah, by the way, this is on hard difficulty with AI bonuses turned on. In case you were wondering. <laughs> He seems content to siege up my um, my vassal's land. And I'm okay with that, really. Although I might want to come squish him. If I can get a decent stack up here, I would love to come squish his, his armies. Maybe that's what we'll do. Oh no, he's separating into smaller stacks. Okay. Well, here. How about we... Squish that army right there. Oh shit, rebels just spawned on my face. Peasant rebels. Ha! Ah, that sucks. Oh well, they're just mercenaries. I don't care. That much. Let's fuck him up. Oh, he actually wants to come attack me in Quetta. Uh, yeah, quite as mostly mountains. I'm okay with that. Bring it. And put my general down there. Come on, man, bring it. Cosmopolitan Brazil. I don't think I've ever heard of Cosmopolitan Brazil, but I like it. There we go. Mountains? No, we didn't get mountains. Fuck. Oh well. Bring everyone. So he has a 444, and I have a 13. Well, do your best. We have better morale, but other than that, he's got more uh, discipline. I wish we had a mountain defense. It's mostly mountains here, so we got unlucky there, but whatever. We should be okay once some of our reinforcements arrive. In fact, why don't we stop the reinforcements? Let's go to uh, Kandahar, and let's start attacking his other stacks. Okay, you don't need the general anymore. You can have a general. Uh, let's leave you there for a bit, and why don't you go attack this stuff? Looks like he's rolling to Sistan. Okay. Nobody wants to peace out because the war just started. Welcome to Length of War. I really don't like Length of War, but it's a thing. It is a thing. I was using Forced March to get around me. Okay, well that's something. How about we party? How's that sound? Nope, he doesn't want to party. Okay. Are you going to Gahor? Yes, he is. Okay. Interesting. So we're going to go attack in Seaston and Coheaston. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully he'll squish. Oh, he actually has backup coming. Okay. I didn't see the backup coming. 
Ow. Oh my god. Ow! Holy shit! Oh my god! Losing 2700 a day? What? We have more morale in the same tactics. That doesn't make any sense. Jesus Christ. Okay, no, no, no. We're now going to have to fight a completely defensive war. There is absolutely nothing we can do. Apparently, these battles are just incredibly against us, even though the numbers don't look that way. Wow, that was awful. Well, we do need to end here on a nice happy note. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. We'll come back next time where we will try not to get our asses handed to us on a silver platter. Bye-bye.